Hey everybody, video here for you today. And actually this is my second video. I uploaded one about one in the morning, a hike I did yesterday in the Red Rock Canyon. Just a look at some pretty cool scenery. But today I want to do this kind of review video. I haven't talked about this place for about two years, but it really relates to a subject I'm going to be talking about in the near future. I have started a series called the Top 10 Most Mysterious Sites in Egypt. And I think I'm down to number four. So this will be good review for that video coming up maybe in a week or two. But today we are going to go down to Dara, Egypt. And here is a mysterious structure that is on the pyramid list. But there is no answer for this place. No good answer as far as when it was built, who built it, what it was originally. Was this a pyramid or is this one of those unfinished pyramids? And I know some of you remember this series I did quite a while ago. I looked at every pyramid on the pyramid list of Egypt and I got to some true mysteries. It seems that these structures here, whatever they were originally, kind of puts a dividing line between the dynastic Egyptians and something that came before. That's why there is no good answers for these and this is just like the one up at Abu Ruwash that we call Jedefri's Pyramid and the mysterious one buried in trash at Zayat al Aryan. And I did that video about two and a half years ago, and that's one I'm pretty proud of because I think it got maybe 175,000 views, but other people latched onto that story, and now millions of people have heard about the Pyramid of Zayat al Aryan. so that's one I'm pretty proud of. But here, this one, let's just line this up. You notice here, it is not lined up perfectly north, and I have talked about an alignment probability to the north, coming some, from some very old places in Egypt in my Edfu Atlantis video. So I'll leave the link for that one below. But here, not perfectly aligned. But the place here at Zayat al Aryan, a true mystery. Here you see the Pyramids of Giza just poking up over this mound here. But who built this? And how did they do it? And why? No good answers here. And here is a pick coming from when this place was cleared out. And then in the 1950s, it was used as a movie set the land of the pharaohs, and this has been pretty much lost to history. Just some old pics of this ramp going down here to a what they say is a burial chamber, and what's at the bottom here is one of the biggest mysteries in all Egypt. But at the bottom here, huge eight-foot-high granite blocks, and one of them has this mysterious tub in here. Still have not found a good answer for the purpose of this, but certainly it had to be a profound one. To me, this place at Dara, Egypt, identical builders, identical purpose, lost to history. But the earliest text coming from Egypt says the earliest temples in the land we call Egypt today were built on the primordial mounds. And here is a structure that we have no answer for, built up on a mound here. You can kind of see how this is built up on a mound, but other ones certainly are. We'll do a quick review of these. This is Abu Ruwash, the northernmost pyramid in the pyramid field. This is the Pyramid of Jedefri, built up on a mound. And people say there might have been a pyramid up here, but that would have made pyramid building very hard. Hauling stones up a large hill and then building the pyramid. I don't think there was a pyramid ever here. This was supposedly built right after the pyramids of Giza. Is that the way the construction went? Now, there is also one of these structures down at the Fayum region, right down here in the middle of nowhere. And the true purpose of these, well, who knows? And down at Tashur, just south of the Red Pyramid and the Pen Pyramid, up on a mound here, we have one of these mystery structures. You can see here, this one is built on the top of a mound, the primordial mounds from the ancient text. That's what it seems to me, much older than the dynastic Egyptians. And then these are just kind of talked about, briefly mentioned. They're all unfinished. They're all unfinished at the exact same point in construction. The answers we get from the Egyptologists are really, really lame on these. Also down at Abu Sir down here, we have I think they call this the Pyramid of Neferefre. These, these were never pyramids in my eyes. All we have is a shaft coming down here. 
and then a chamber that turns to the west, the land of the dead. These were very symbolic, coming from some very early periods in the land we call Egypt. That is what I think. I don't think there was ever pyramids on here because these are all in the same condition, the same point of construction. But to me, these come from an earlier time, the time of the gods, the followers of Horus ruled for thousands of years, according to the ancient texts. But the original purpose of these, that's what I'm going to get into when I do my number four most mysterious site in Egypt video. Try to get to some real answers for these places. Were they waterworks? No, they had something to do with the dead and the afterlife coming from a period before the dynastic Egyptians. Large sarcophagus were found in these places. What does the sarcophagus have to do with waterworks? Nothing. But this structure... Down in Dara, Egypt, I don't think too many people know about this. A lot of people are familiar with the Pyramid of Jeffrey. Some people know about the Pyramid of Zayat al Ariane, But who knows about this place? And really, try to even find a pick of this place. It's really difficult to do. A lot of the mysteries in Egypt are off the beaten path of where tour groups go to. Google Earth, I can go anywhere I want. This is a video that needs to be repeated because there are people out there watching this that have no idea this exists. And here you see slightly off alignment, but let's just measure how big this structure actually is. It is about almost 100 meters exactly long. So how many feet is that? Well over 300 feet. This way maybe about 90 meters. The shaft coming down here is about 50 meters long. But how big is the Pyramid of Jedefre here? 100 meters long, a little less than 100 meters wide. But the ram coming down, about 50 meters long here, you can see, coming down into the what they say is the burial chamber. If the structure of Tara Egypt was not covered by sand and it was excavated, I believe it would look a lot like this here. So these appear to be the exact same structures, but according to Egyptologists, they are built in different periods of time. This one comes from the Old Kingdom, the 4th Dynasty, and then the one down in Dara, Egypt, maybe the 8th or 10th Dynasty, they're not even sure. Now the story of this place, who it's attributed to, this is called the Pyramid of Kauai, right here, and however you want to pronounce that, but K-H-U-I, just because of one cartouche that was found in a nearby temple is an ancient Egyptian funerary structure datable to the early first intermediate period. That's about 4,200 years ago and located in the royal necropolis of Dara near Monfalut in Middle Egypt. It is generally attributed to Kwai, a kinglet belonging either to the 8th dynasty or a provincial nomarch proclaiming himself king in a time when central authority had broken down, roughly 2150 BC. But here it talks about research done here in 1912 and then again in the 40s by Raymond Wheel. It says, do both to the ruined state of the structure and to the building's atypical architecture. Kamal, who was here in 1912, believed it to be a huge mastaba, while Wheel thought it was a pyramid. Even today, in spite of the fact that the building is commonly considered to be a pyramid, and possibly a step pyramid, it is not possible to determine with certainty which type of tomb it was, and one cannot exclude that it was indeed a mastaba. No name of an owner was found on the pyramid site. However, excavations of a tomb located immediately south of the pyramid yielded a stone block with a relief bearing the car cartouche HWJ, that is Kauai, the nomen of the here thereto unknown pharaoh. It says this shell, whose corners are rounded with a radius of curvature of 23 meters, surrounds an empty inner space, which was probably filled by sand and gravel. Yeah, over thousands of years, it's going to fill up with sand and gravel. I totally agree with that. Now, there was no name of a king anywhere in that large structure, Adar, Egypt. This was found in a tomb just south of it, a cartouche here. And I'm a little confused by this here and how they get Kauai out of that. But I haven't looked into hieroglyphs for quite a while and you can get rusty doing that, trust me. But I thought I'd read about this Kauai. It says... 
An obscure ruler with a big monument, the name of Kauai means protector and has been found just once under rather odd circumstances. It was in connection to the investigation of quite an object for this unstable period of disorder and a weak central power. This king possibly built or at least worked on a very big tomb at an otherwise unknown site of Dara located 35 kilometers downstream of Ashut in Middle Egypt. It was probably intended to be a pyramid or a mastaba of some sort and still stands clearly visible in its ruined state today. The first notation of substance of it comes from a digging there in the early years of the 1900s, resulting in a short article in the Egyptian Museum magazine in 1912. Some 40 years later, it was investigated again for two seasons. 1946 through 1948 by the French archaeologist Raymond Wheel, who wrote about the digging in a 12-page article in the same publication in 1947. He concluded his work by publishing a 130-page book in 1958, but regrettably just published in French. It says the tomb is located on the western bank, around 300 meters from the floodplain and the remains of the construction makes it unclear whether it was a pyramid or some kind of step mastaba because the remnants of the mud brick walls have sloping sides and are built in steps. This has left the door open for ideas about what it once could have looked like and thus it has generated some more or less plausible theories. As expected, opinions among Egyptologists are divided about its original intended design as well as its age, but they say this isn't built in the Old Kingdom times. They relate Jedefri's and the Pyramid of Zayat al Aryan to the Old Kingdom. This one, they say, comes from the Intermediate Period. Why? I have no idea. They look the same. And here is a plan of it, and here is what it looks like from a side view. But it says today, and this was written in 2008, it's in a ruined state, and it's difficult to say if it was dismantled after once being finished, or if it was ever finished at all, which it probably wasn't, or maybe it was, and this is all there was to it, just like other places that look exactly like this. And once again, just try finding a pic of this place online. It's pretty hard to do. Hypogeum, it says, from the north face of the structure, and horizontal corridor whose entrance is at ground level goes straight into the center of the structure. The corridor then continues to a descending gallery lined with limestone, topped by 11 arches and reinforced with pilasters. The gallery finally leads to a burial chamber placed in the center of the building's base. The rectangular burial chamber is located 8.8 .8 meters under the ground level and measures 3.5 meters by 7 meters. Its walls are made of roughly worked limestone blocks, presumably taken from a nearby older necropolis of the 6th dynasty. That's all just big assumptions. The hypogeum was found completely empty during the excavations and was certainly robbed and nearly destroyed in antiquity. So just for review, the Egyptologists don't know what the original purpose of this structure was, and it was a very large one. They don't know if it was a mastaba or if a pyramid once sat here, and that to me is highly unlikely. But they say this comes from around 4,200 years ago, but yet structures just like this, they attribute to the Old Kingdom, and they attribute this place to a Kauai there has only been one cartouche of this guy found, and they don't know if he was a pharaoh, what dynasty he was in, or if he was just a local leader. They have no clue. But this place seems to be like the Pyramid of Jedefri, the Pyramid of Zayat al Aryan that is now under a trash pit. Seems the Egyptologists have no good answer for this, and that's probably why they don't talk about these sites a lot. But seems very important to me if you're looking for a period that comes before the dynastic Egyptians. And I'm going to be going into this a little deeper in a video down the road. Some real answers coming from the people who know the very earliest text might give us a clue. But that'll be coming down the road. Hope you thought that one was cool. And you all have a very nice day.